Hi guys, tonight is a very exciting video. My Vicularia Versicolor dropped a beautiful egg sac. I've had her and her chamber in the incubator. However, I'm a little concerned about her getting dehydrated. I haven't been able to water her very well, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this egg sac prematurely. And depending on how it feels, I may or may not go ahead and open it up tonight. Step one, got my container with vermiculite. Since this may need to be rolled manually for a little while, depending on how well developed it is, I'm going to make a little indention down the middle here. And I set the egg sac down in the indention. That way I can roll it easily back and forth every 12 hours. So I've got my container with ventilation, moist vermiculite, and my little trench dug out. Now for the sticky part. Let's get started. This sack was dropped. Ooh, that scared me. Well, I first saw it anyway on 812. This is 12 days later. Normally I don't open them until the 14th day. As I said, depending on how it feels, I may go ahead and crack this sucker open. We had mom up at the top there. She's got all this beautiful, intricate webbing. I've got to uh, unfortunately destroy some of it. Okay, she's, she's getting antsy. Once she felt us getting close, she ran straight to the sack to protect it. First thing I'm going to do is move away from the table just a little bit. I'm going to try to gently coax her away. Okay. She's got a hold of it. Sorry, Mother, I promise I'll take very good care of it. And now, take a closer look. Just palpating the sack gently. Trying to feel how dense it is. You can detect slight variation in the density of the sac when it goes from eggs to eggs with legs. I'm not sure on this one. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with this sac. Concerned that it's not good or maybe just that it's still in the first stages of development. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So I can do this delicately with two hands. What I'm seeing is not looking good so far. So this looks dense and dark, which is not a good sign. Healthy eggs will be pearly and soft. I don't think any part of this is good. You can see it's the eggs that were here are totally rotten. So you can see out of the whole mass, not one of these appears to be alive, or it would be white or pearly, and all of these are brown and gray and beginning to disintegrate. There's a couple that don't look so bad. I'm going to go ahead and separate them. You can see this one. Looks like it might be okay.
That's kind of a pearly looking one. I'm going to make sure and keep that one clear. So out of this little pitiful sack, wound up with uh, less than 20 that look like they might be all right. But nonetheless, I love Versicolor. I'm going to go ahead and incubate them. Let's keep our fingers crossed and who knows, maybe we'll wind up with one little baby or two. So I'll keep you guys posted. Keep watching.